Welcome to our first official flipped classroom video. Let's get started. In the classroom, we have been working on problems such as this. I have four dogs and two cats. How many more dogs do I have than cats? I've given a picture here to help you figure out the answer. On your homework sheet, you need to write down the answer to this question. So I'll give you about one minute to look at this and write down your answer. If you need more time, you can always click pause and then come back to it after you've written down your answer. Let's move on to what you'll be learning in the classroom tomorrow. Here I have another problem. It says, there were five soccer balls and nine footballs in the gym. How many fewer soccer balls were there than footballs? We tomorrow are going to start learning how to write a number sentence to help us figure out the answer to these problems. First, we need to decide if we are going to add or subtract. When they ask how many more or how many fewer, they are asking us to compare the two groups. So in this case, we are comparing the five soccer balls to the nine footballs. When we compare the groups, we are looking to see how they are different. That is why we subtract for these problems and stories. Remember, when we subtract, the answer is called the difference. So since we are looking for the difference between the two groups, we subtract. So first, let's look at this problem and solve it the way we've been doing it in the classroom. I'll use these pictures on the slide. There were five soccer balls. One, two, three, four, five, and nine footballs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I look at this picture, notice how I lined up each soccer ball with each football. That way it's easier to figure out for the answer how many fewer soccer balls, I can figure out how many soccer balls are missing to make it equal to how many footballs we have. Now it's time to write a subtraction sentence. Remember in subtraction, we always start with the greater number. So in, in, in this case, the greater number is nine. So I'm going to write the number 9. Minus, we already decided that for these problems when it asks how many fewer or how many more we have to use subtraction, minus the smaller number which is 5. equals and we have to figure out the difference. Now you can do this a number of ways. You can use the picture that I've put on here for you and figure out the difference between five soccer balls and nine footballs or you could use a number line which I've also put on here or any other strategy that we've learned for subtraction. I'm going to look at the picture and when I look at the picture I notice that I have one, two, three, four extra footballs, which means I'm also missing four soccer balls to make them equal. Therefore, my answer, or my difference, would be four. I'm also going to use my number line to make sure that my answer is correct. So I'll start at nine, and I'll hop backwards five times. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I land on the answer four, and that confirms that that is the correct answer. You'll notice that I also have two extra lines after my answer. That's because we also need to label our answer. So here I have 9 minus 5 equals 4. The question was, how many fewer soccer balls were there than footballs? So to label my answer, I would say 4 fewer 
soccer balls. And that's labeling my answer according to the question that was asked. If you wish to take a look at this video again, or maybe you want to rewind it because you missed a part or didn't understand something, you can certainly do that. Otherwise, we'll be going over this again in the classroom tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Bye.